Bill 8 will also amend the Education Act for student transportation. The coming school year's busing schedules have already been determined and communicated to parents. So we will maintain the current rules to provide certainty and consistency. We also know it's important that parents do not pay school fees for specific instructional materials needed in the classroom, such as textbooks and paper. However, school boards will be able to have the autonomy to charge fees for extracurricular activities, such as field trips or sports teams. We will also keep the current rules around superintendent compensation, which is required given Alberta's fiscal situation and Albertans' expectations for public officials' pay. We also propose to keep the current implementation plan for leadership certification and teaching quality standards. This plan has broad support from all stakeholders and it is logical to continue with these initiatives. I am proud to say that through the Education Amendment Act, we are building a framework that puts the student first and is accountable at the local level. Uh, I wanted to start by saying Happy Pride Month, but it feels that today what we've seen is an act to destroy GSAs. I think it is uh, very, uh, I can't help but think about the fact that ASBA just passed a resolution two days ago asking this minister to put a pause on moving forward with the Ed Act, and uh, that is clearly being ignored. Um, what has been brought forward here today is a reverting back to um, legislation that kids told us, they told the media, they've been telling everyone that, that it wasn't good enough, that uh, there, to answer a couple of questions, there were no changes to what was passed in the Ed Act back in 2012, and then Bill um, 10, I guess it was, came up. But th this bill, I read through it, there's no mention actually uh, that I was able to see of GSAs or QSAs or even the inclusion clubs that were referred to. So this is going back to, uh, People keep saying, or the minister keeps saying, uh, new and uh, modern. This is absolutely not new. It's not modern. It's based on uh, old legislation that students told us didn't work. They told us that there were huge loopholes and that there were many school districts that weren't enforcing the intent of what the law was supposed to be. Uh, that's why uh, when we were in government, we changed the law. We made sure that kids couldn't be outed. We made sure that it had to be immediate if they requested a GSA or a QSA. And that's why I'm so disappointed to see uh, this minister uh, bring forward what uh, seems to be uh, the mission of Mr. Kenny over the last several decades to uh, attack LGBTQ rights and roll back protections. Yeah, I mean, GSAs save lives full stop. And I was, a, I was a teacher, I was a school administrator, and I saw how important it is that all students, uh, including vulnerable LGBTQ students, are protected. And it's Pride Month, and I mean, this government is about to raise the Pride flag on Friday uh, at the si same time that they're rolling back LGBTQ rights, and it's simply unacceptable. The minister talks about balance. There's no balance when you're talking about protecting vulnerable students.